Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me. Hope everybody's doing well today. We're going to make another little really quick and easy graduation gift card holder type thing. This one's going to be fast because I need about five of these or five different gift cards to give out. We have a lot of our family graduating this year. So you're going to start out with a piece of paper that is 10 inches by 5 inches. And you're going to score at two and a half and at five. Okay, and now you need to do some diagonal scoring. And if you don't have a diagonal scoreboard or a scoreboard like a little thing like this to put on your scoreboard, I will show you in just a moment how to do it without this. Okay, now we want to start from this score line that is showing right here. That first one that you made, that score line right there. And I'm going to put it on the two and a half inch mark, which is right here from this end as one, two and a half. Now I'm putting that score line right into that mark there. And then I'm just going to score down. I'm going to hold it as straight as I can and score down. And see, I'm holding my paper all the way up to the edge of that. Just like that. And then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put that score line on that two and a half inch mark right there. I'm going to slide that up against that and then I'm going to score down. And that gives me my little crisscross score lines there. I think you can see part of it. But let me show you how you can do this without having to have that diagonal scoreboard. <clears throat> so all you need to do is just have a ruler. Take the ruler and put the end of it on that first score line that we made, that two and a half inch one. And then you're just going to measure down. Put my glasses on so I can see. You're going to measure down to five inches and you're going to Put a little mark there and then you would just put your ruler right here on the edge of that score line and right there on that five inch mark you can draw a little line or you can just go ahead and score it whichever one you want and then you would do the same thing on the other side just flip it around put your ruler right there on that score line measure down to the five make your little mark and then just put your ruler on that score line right there and then on that mark and just draw down or score down and you've got your diagonal score lines okay I hope that helped I got mine as you can see right here I got a double line I got mine a little bit off the first time so we're gonna try to make sure that we score that correctly I'm just going to fold and burnish on my score lines. Okay, now all you need to do is press in those little side score lines right there and then bring that down and just make sure that everything is straight. Your points are together here. Fold that over like that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut from this line right here to the center of this. So we just need to mark our center. So I am going to put my Tim Holtz ruler up here. And I'm going to mark it right there is my center. So I'm going to draw a line. It makes it a little bit easier for me. You can just put it in your cutter and cut it if you want without drawing the little line. Just makes it a little easier for me to see when I draw a line. So you see what we're doing? We're drawing a line from the center of that top up there down to this. And this is on that long side too, not on the short side up here. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my cutter to cut that off. So I'm just putting it in there, lining it up with that little mark that I made. We're just going to slice that out of there. Okay. 
Okay, and now what you need is two pieces of paper for two mats. And I'm doing the gold in the back and the white on top so I can stamp on it. So this mat is two and one quarter by four and three quarters. And that's going to go down right there. And then this one is two inches by four and a half inches. But first, before we put this one down, we're going to stamp on it. And I get my ink. And I'm just using this stamp set that is so versatile. I love this thing. It's got every kind of day that you could ever imagine in here. And it just says special day graduation. And I'm going to use that. And part of this is not going to show. So I'm going to put special day over here. And then I'm going to flip it. Make sure I got it the right way. And then I'm going to put graduation over on this side. There we go. Because that's about all that's going to show once we get this all put together. So we're just going to use a little bit of this tape to put this down. going to center that up on that black piece and then we're going to take this one and do the same thing And then this piece is cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter, I do believe. Yes, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we're going to put that right there, just like that. Okay. Now that's going to come down just like that. Now I made a little tassel that we're going to put in the hat here and I'm going to trim this off just a little bit because we don't need that much. So we're going to put that down right in the center of the hat and I'm going to eyeball it. That looks about right to me. So we're going to put a little bit of glue there, just a little dollop. We're going to lay that on there. And then we're going to take one of these little black pearl blings. And I'm going to sit that on top of it to kind of hold that down. Now, because I want my little tassel to stay in one spot, I'm going to put a tiny little glue dot right there. And these are clear, so nobody will be the wiser. That way, it'll stay kind of to the side. I don't want it to really fall down to the front. And then to make this an easel graduation card, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little sticky dot right up under here. Then we're going to stick that down. And there you go. You have your stand up, and it kind of stands a little bit. Depending on how heavy the cardstock is that you use, it'll stand more with heavier cardstock. Mine is a little bit thin. This is an older cardstock that I'm just using up. So mine doesn't stand up as much as it could, but it still stands a little bit. And then you can lay it flat and put it in an envelope. So that is your stand up graduation easel card. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.